Okay, there they are, the new FX Hybrid Slugs. Um, like everybody, I'm trying them out and trying to see what they're all about. Um, got my FX Impact, and I did some initial testing the other night. Um, and I have it, I'm indoors in my basement, and it's 60 degrees in here. And I just went out this evening and did some testing outside where the temperature was 32. And yesterday when I tested them, I tested them in the slug barrel. And here's my indoor target at 14 yards. But when I tested them in the slug barrel indoors yesterday, I was getting a velocity of 919 feet per second with my reg set 145 my hammer adjustment about maxed out and set on 5 and so when I went outside uh, and tested I put the pellet liner in because they say the pellet liner shoots them more accurately and of course accuracy is paramount in most all situations so uh, when I shot them in the pellet liner and it was 32 rather than getting 919 feet per second on hammer setting 5 I was getting 875 now my thought is well it's cold that's one thing another thing is the rifling in the pellet liner is probably much more aggressive than in the um, slug liner which has to be more precise so I'm about to shoot a couple rounds inside even though gun feels or the impact feels still cold from being outside but just to see if there's any change and and after that we'll get into what what my testing is sort of all about at least my main reason for getting the at least my main reason for getting the um, hybrids to try out okay let's see what kind of velocity I got once again Outside it was 875. Let's see if the temperature makes any difference at all, and then we'll go from there. Alright, that tells me a lot there. One more. Okay, hopefully you could hear those. Um, about 905 to 891. So, going from the slug liner last night in here, which was 919. Or 891 now with the pellet liner in so that's about 30 feet per second and then when you take this outside we go from 890 to about 875 so we lose another 15 feet per second so that's something to take into account when you're doing your setup and if you're going to be shooting outside when it's cold so let's pause a second and get set up Alright, um, my main uh, thing for getting and trying the uh, FX hybrids is uh, formerly they were rat sniper slugs which are known for extreme expansion and I wanted to test them out. Um, once again if people have been watching I have the ballistic gel blocks which I've been shooting and this one I think it's around 4 ounces no 12 ounces uh, this simulates the weight of a pigeon so I'm testing expansion and I did shoot it um, the other night and was quite impressed but I want to do some more testing but 
Okay, now what you're looking at is my FX Dream Pup uh, in 22 caliber. It's got the slug barrel in it. And you may ask, well, why do I got this uh, set up now? And the reason is, when I go to shoot my ballistic blocks, I don't want to be shooting them at 14 yards with my high-powered impact to test expansion. What I want something that's shooting slower then I can calculate the amount of foot-pounds energy it's putting out at 14 yards and then look at my impact chart uh, and see that foot-pounds energy how that translates to distance uh, that it's uh, hitting at. So right now here's some of the uh, NSA 23 grain uh, slugs. I've been using them in the impact and for bird size animals uh, they do a bang up job but uh, from what I see they really don't have the expansion um, and even though they've redesigned them to where they got a bigger hollow point and they got more of a bearing surface so they sit better in the magazine and so I think they're definitely an improvement but for shooting small critters birds and such uh, they do an excellent job and you don't necessarily need a whole lot of expansion plus the uh, cost now of them with the high-speed machines you're using makes it a very um, economical slug to use but I'm gonna shoot uh, some of these out the dream line to get a, a velocity base reading and um, then I will shoot uh, my ballistic gel block to see the results and show you and then we'll go to the FX hybrids alright hopefully uh, when I shoot these, you can hear the velocity that the FX radar is given. And plus, I'm checking my point of impact at 14 yards so I can hold for the chronograph. 777. One thing, I don't know if you get an identical number with the radar, if it just doesn't read it out or not. But that might have been identical. 756. Okay, about 756. For the 23 grain slugs, let's just see real quick what, how many foot pounds energy that is. Approximately 29.19 foot pounds energy. Let's set up the chronograph down at the target to get on target uh, velocity and energy. Okay. FX Dream Pup shooting NSA 23 grain hollow point flat base. Okay, I'm shot a couple more. I had to adjust my lights. Fine, I'll go with this last reading, and it gives us 28.88 foot pounds of energy and 752 feet per second. Okay, here's my uh, ballistic chart on chair gun for the impact shooting the 23 grain Nielsen's. And I'm looking for the info at 752 feet per second.
Okay, somewhere right in there. That's almost 29 foot-pounds energy. And the distance is 106 yards. There you go, 106 yards. And 752. So when I shoot this uh, block, uh, gel block downstairs, pigeon size, this is the expansion you would expect at 106 yards, which with a lot of us shooting long distance now is, uh, you know, in the realm of shooting possibilities. Okay, now what I'm going to do is shoot around into my pellet. You could say pellet catch trap, but now it's slugs, pellets, so let's say projectiles. Basically what it is, is a five gallon bucket filled with towels and hopefully that doesn't add much to the uh, expansion factor since it's nice and cushiony I got my pigeon size weight block and right now uh, there's just one hole in the cardboard usually use the hole size to see uh, initial expansion but when I shoot this I want you to watch how the block reacts sound is indication too but mainly how it moves so let's go shoot this with the Nielsen 23 grain Okay, you saw it rock back. Made a sound almost like it's hitting wood, but it's not hitting wood. It's just a smack that uh, happens when you hit the ballistic gel. Okay, let's pause a second. I'm going to fish the uh, slug out. Okay, there's my towel. Usually look for the indentation to follow it down. There's the slug. Let's go get a unfired one to compare. Okay, here we go. The fired one is on the left. Unfired on the right. You can see how the hollow point opened up a little bit. Trying to get the slug became a little bit more cylindrical in shape, less tapered with the OG and so not a lot of expansion but a heck of a lot of pop on uh, hitting the silicon block and for bird sized animals really skeletal structure bones don't come into play like it might be on mammals so I think this is what you could expect with the Nielsen's on expansion on smaller um, pest birds etc now let's go to um, the hybrids and see what the difference is okay here's the chair gun chart for the uh, hybrids and I don't know if this will translate but uh, you know all the relevant information this is shooting through the pellet liner and let's look for the equivalent yardage we're looking for 780 feet per second remaining. All right. This is very interesting. If I'm reading this right, the uh, 
780 feet per second we're looking at a yardage of 72 yards versus 106 for the FX impact I'll have to confirm that so when I go to shoot this ballistic block it's the equivalent of hitting it at 72 yards okay I got a little spotlight shining on the chronograph screen so hopefully we can see it and it's easier for me to go down in velocity to match NSA get the equivalent foot pounds energy so usually it's about 20 foot pounds or actually 20 feet per second for lowering so let's see if we can get some readings shooting for 768 all right 765.6 it's close you can get it we'll set up for a slug expansion test to get the true comparison between the NSAs and the hybrids and then all you have to do is match the uh, foot pounds energy to your chart your ballistic chart to see about what expansion you would be getting on a pigeon sized animal okay essentially from what I was shooting the uh, Nielsen's at the 23 grain 22 caliber hollow point slugs now I have the same approximate foot pounds energy on target to do with the hybrids so the 22 caliber hybrids so let's uh, take a shot and recover the slug look for the expansion okay you notice how it plowed over the uh, the block and I'm gonna go uh, get the needle since I shot before just to compare again okay here's the final result of hitting a pigeon size weight block I should say weight block to the heart of it and the Nielsen 23 grain 22 caliber with the unfired slug fired FX hybrid 22 grain and fired and these are hitting the block with 28.88 give or take a few tenths of a foot pound and we'll measure the Nielsen and see what we got okay the Nielsen's basically we aren't getting any expansion but we're getting it to go a little bit more squat and the hollow point itself opens up some so it's more of a cylinder and we know the diameter of the uh, hybrids which is 0.217 but let's see this expansion so just look at your chart if you're shooting about 900 920 feet per second uh, this is type expansion that you'll get at about 107 110 yards and that's 0.296 so we're approaching 30 caliber from 22 caliber so that is pretty amazing what these are doing expansion wise and this is on the pigeon size target so that's looking good